Yo, 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 it's your boy, do, 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 do the germ, baby. This is What Are You Afraid Of? Spoken Word Poetry by John Georgeson. I'm sorry, if I, I totally butchered that. I know I butchered it. You're going to read it in the title. Let's get into this video, shall we? Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. What are you afraid of? Before I start this video, what are you afraid of? It could be money. It could be losing money. It could be losing your job or losing your kids or losing a loved one or it could be small, like heights. I'm afraid of heights. I'm afraid of mannequins. Don't use that against me. I, my kid does all the time. <laughs> but I want to say the biggest thing I'm afraid of the most would have to be losing my faith. I don't know where I will be if I would lose my faith again. I ha it happened before. I was thankful enough that I found it. We found it. But those years when I lost it, I want to say it's one of my darkest years in my life. And I don't want to go through that again. But let's get into this video. Let's go. I used to be afraid at night, afraid of the dark, afraid that just beyond the point my eyesight allowed me to see that there was something lurking, afraid that the darkness itself would somehow surround me and swallow me up, as if darkness were anything more than simply the absence of light. I used to be afraid of tomorrow, afraid that who I was would continually dictate who I am and that who I would be might be someone who I didn't like very much at all. As if there was no such thing as being made new. I used to be afraid of opinions. Afraid that the words would not break my bones, they certainly would shatter my dreams. I have to admit, that's one of my things I'm afraid of too is opinions on me. I am getting better at not caring as much um, because ultimately it, it's just your opinion and why does that have to affect me? Like who are you to me that I would care about your opinion? Granted, I, I accept opinions. I accept It could be your opinion to make the video lighter or whatever. Those kind of opinions, I can accept. But if it's opinion attacking who I am as, as a human being, or if it's an opinion that evolves my son, well, if it evolves my son, I'm going to be defensive, but... If it's an opinion on my looks, or if it's opinion on my human being in a negative way, I don't care. It's your opinion. Everyone has the right to their own opinion. Doesn't mean I have to agree with it, but it ain't gonna bother me. I'm not letting it the other negative stuff bother me anymore. For uh, four days and well, three days of life pass. The largest Christian music festival in the world, not in the world, but the United States. The only opinion I that matters to me the most is the Lord. Let's go. As if I started doing this for the approval of many rather than the glory of one, I used to be afraid oh. of failure, afraid of losing, 
afraid of falling, afraid of being wrong, creating busts, and looking absolutely stupid, because who am I to think that I could ever actually make a difference? As if those setbacks were anything more than stepping stones on the path to success. I used to be afraid. Used to. But then I did a little research. And by that, I mean I researched and I researched and I researched over and over again. And through all my researching, I kept coming up with the same exact question. What room does fear have? What room does fear have when I cling to trust? What room does fear have when I lean on hope? What room does fear have when I search for something more, when I discover what's good, and when I stand in awe? When I run with perseverance, when I walk by faith, and when I rest in comfort? What room does fear have when I sing with praise, when I take hold of inspiration, explore the possibilities, and step into freedom? What room does fear have when I discover strength, embrace courage, remember peace, declare truth, choose joy, experience life, and conquer death? What room does fear have when I find perfection in the one place I never thought to look, in weakness? When I'm saved by the most unlikely of heroes, by grace? When I'm invited into a relationship more loving and intimate than I could ever imagine as a child of God? I'll ask you again, what room does fear have when I step out of the darkness and I bask in the light? When I let the past be the past and the future has no limit, when they can talk all they want, but their opinion doesn't matter, and when failure is nothing more and nothing less than the road by which I walk my path to success. I'll ask you one last time. What room does fear have when in his word he tells yep. me 365 times, depending on the translation, do not be afraid. As if I needed to hear that every single day. And as if that's how many times I needed to hear it before I finally believed it. What room does fear have when I make room for love? Yep. What are you afraid of? love his work. I love John's work. Uh, what are you afraid of? And he's right. If you trust in the Lord, you, you shouldn't be afraid. Or at least that's what I get out of it. And I'm getting there. I never said I was perfect. No one's perfect. I'm getting there. Slowly but surely, but I'm getting there. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Much appreciated. If you enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. Hit the sub button if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to let you know when I post another video or go live for you guys. And as always, do the down fam. You are loved.